Welcome to this video on how to use sets in Java. My name's Andy Wicks and in this program I'm going to show you how to manipulate data in situations where you need to check whether two groups of information are the same, similar and so on. That's called set theory and Java handles that really well. Before we get into the program itself, let me show you the import statement. We need to import both the hash set and set Java utils. Having done that, we can now get on to the program itself. I'm going to define two sets of data. One are the people who won Formula One Grand Prix in 1950, and the other the people who won in 1951. We're going to create a set called of strings called F1 Winners 1950, which is a new hash set. So the first person to win in 1950 was Giuseppe Farina, the second one Johnny Parsons, and the third Juan Manuel Fangio. The second set, 1951 Winners, is also a set of strings, and that contains Fangio, Wellard, Fagioli, Farina and Gonzalez in that order. Having got our two sets of data, we can now move on to doing things in Java proper. Let's start by looking to see whether the people who won in 1950 also won in 1951. We're going to check if F1 Winners 1951 contains all of F1 Winners in 1950. Johnny Parsons won in 1950 but he didn't win in 1951. If, however, the 1951 winners contained all the people who won in 1950, we would print out everyone who won in 1950, also won in 1951. But if there was somebody who didn't win in 1951, we would print out someone who won in 1950 did not win in 1951. And that's the case for us. Let's move on to the next task. We're going to list all those who won in either 1950 or 1951. In set theory, that's called a union. And we're going to create a new set of strings called union of winners, which is a new hash set. Now we're going to populate that new hash set with all the people who won in 1950. So we have a simplified for loop where we're taking each of the winners in 1950 and adding them to the union of winners set. Having done that, we can take the union of winners set and add all the F1 winners in 1951. So that will contain all the people who won in 1950 and 1951. But, there's always a but. This is set theory, and we don't get duplicate items. So if anybody won in 1950 and 1951, they would still only appear in our list once. Sets do not have duplicate values. The last section of code here shows us printing out the data. So we're just printing out the word union, and then using a simplified for loop, we're printing out each person who is in the Union of Winners. In other words, those who won in either 1950 or 1951. And then there's a blank line underneath. Let's move on to the next task. Here we're going to see all those who won in both 1950 and 1951. So they must have won a race in 1950 and won a race in 1951. That's called an intersection. So we're going to create a new set of strings called intersection of winners. That's a new hash set. Again, we're going to populate this new set with all the winners from 1950. So we're going to add each winner to intersection of winners as we go. Having got all the winners from 1950 in, 
we can now create an intersection of winners that retains all of the F1 winners from 1951 that they have in common. Retain all just checks for the ones that are in common. Now we can do the same trick as we did above and we can print out intersection and then using the simplified for loop print out each of the people who won in both 1950 and 1951. We're just putting a comma and a space after their name so that it's easier to see in a moment. Finally we're going to list all those who won in either 1950 or 1951 but not both. That's called the complement of winners. Again I'm creating a new set of strings which is a new hash set and I'm going to create the complement of winners by taking everybody from the union of winners. Now that may seem counterintuitive at the moment, but stick with me. What we're going to do is we're going to take our list of winners, everybody who won in either 1950 or 1951, and add that to the set complement of winners. We now have another list of all the winners. Now we're going to remove all the people from that who won in both 1950 and 1951. That is the complement of the winners, the people who won in either 1950 or 1951, but not both. And finally we're going to print out that list too. So let me show you that in action. Here we have the printout from the program. Somebody who won in 1950 did not win in 1951. That was Johnny Parsons. We then go on to the set theory actions. This is a list of people who won in either 1950 or in 1951. So Fagioli, Fangio, Gonzalez, Farina, Parsons and Wellard all won at least one Grand Prix in either 1950 or 1951. But only Fangio and Farina one in both years. That's the intersection. And finally, Fagioli, Gonzalez, Parsons and Wellard won in either 1950 or 1951, but not both. Now whilst this works with Formula One winners, this situation is something that you may meet fairly regularly in your programming career.